Amid controversies and speculations, Japan began the discharge of treated wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean, which invited protests and retaliation from Beijing. Tokyo will also publish the preliminary sample results of the released wastewater to reassure the critics that the project was safe. Significantly, Japan will discharge nearly 1.34 million tons of water that has been collected on site since 12 years, when the plant was swamped by tsunami. This action prompted China, biggest buyer of seafood from Japan, to block all imports. Being its biggest critic, Beijing called the discharge an extremely selfish and irresponsible act, adding that this move is like passing an open wound onto the future generations of humanity. Despite the plan getting a nod from UN nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, it has led to many controversies. Concerns regarding nuclear wastewater A survey was conducted by a Japanese newspaper, Asahi Shimbun, which revealed that only 53% of the people supported discharge of water, while 41% were against it. The UN-appointed human rights experts have also opposed the plan, along with environmental activists. Meanwhile, Greenpeace International released a report casting doubt on the TEPCO treatment process alleging that it is incapable of removing radioactive substances. Critics stated that Japan should refrain from releasing treated water for some time, mentioning that this would provide time to develop newer technologies and might allow remaining radioactivity to naturally reduce. Even the scientists have expressed discomfort with the plan adding that the nuclear water might affect the ocean bed and marine life. Now, as Japan has begun the release of water and will continue to do so for a period of 30 years, it has set a stage for an intensified showdown from its critics.